Today we're taking a look at the pet shed and trailer for Mockwheel, and I'm gonna show you why I like this over some of the others, so let's get started. So some of the really cool features, let's take a look. So both sides of the top unzip, and then you have this screen. This screen can also be unzipped so you can have access to the dog or put stuff in the trailer if you wish. That's a really nice, useful feature. And that's on both sides. Both sides have the cover and the screen. You have screen going across the whole side. And down here at the bottom, you have a pocket. There's pockets on both sides so you can keep pet treats, water, whatever you may be bringing along with you. The back side of the dog shed also has a zipper that you can unzip. You can roll it up and there's uh, some ties there. So you can do that as well. Zips up really easy, smoothly. On this side here, again, we have that pocket. We had some treats in here for Louie. And again, open screen. So there's a mat that came with it and it has a little slip resistant grips at the bottom so that it's not sliding around when the dog's in there. To the front, we also have the screen here as well, which you can open and unzip. There's a nice vinyl cover here so that if you don't want the wind blowing on the dog, you go ahead and zip that up just like that. And the trailer has 16 by three inch knobby tires. I really like the attention to detail. You can even mount a safety flag right here. The approximate size of the trailer is gonna be 35 and a half inches long, 25 and a half inches wide by about nine and three quarters of an inch high. What we're gonna do here is show you how simple it is to put the dog shed back together after its first use. It's really simple. First thing we're gonna do is pick up our side, make sure that the uh, rails go underneath the canopy here on both sides. Once you get one side up, it's super simple to hook the other side in. So let me try and flip this back and show you how easy this is. So in order to get our first rail attached, we're just going to pull apart, line up the hole, and just basically push down and it's going to snap right into position just like that. So that's super simple. Now we'll go ahead and do the other side. So we'll go ahead and turn the dog shed around here. I'll unzip it. Oh, and it's simple to um, open and close these zippers. They're really smooth. So we'll go ahead and grab the other side. You can see everything's lined up here. We're just gonna pull back, line up the hole, and just kind of push down, and it snaps right into position. So that's the two rails. We'll get that top rail. So there's only three rails to hook up, and then this thing is together. Very quick and easy for the portability of it. We'll go ahead and do the top now and show you what that looks like. Our top rails are right here. We're just gonna, again, pull back, line up the hole, and uh, you'll see it just pop right into place. Just like that. And this thing's solid. That puts this thing together. It's portable, quick and easy to assemble. Simple as that. So it's really simple to attach the trailer to the back of the bike. You're simply going to remove this bolt. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide this right on here and then tighten it back up. And then you can leave this attached to the bike. Anytime you wanna grab your cart or a dog shed, you're just gonna simply reattach it right here and then put our safety buckle on there, just like that. Keep in mind, you're always gonna have quick release access here. Remove our carter pin and then we can just remove the cart really simple there's a little plastic piece here you might want to take it off and keep it with the trailer so you don't lose it let me go ahead and put this right into storage i've been really impressed with how well this material cleans up just take a wipe Look how nice that material cleans up like new. Okay, now that looks like a pretty rough grass stain there. Go ahead and clean it with just, this is just a regular, this is actually a dog wipe pad. It's not even a 
it's not even a special cleaner. It's just what we use to clean the dog's feet with. Look how nice that cleans up though. It does a good job. So if you know me, you know I like options. And what I really like about this pet shed is that you can remove the screws from each of the corners and you can take the pet shed right off. And now you have this great large size utility trailer to use however you wish. You can use it around the yard, take it to the store, pick up large items, bulky stuff that you wouldn't normally carry on a bike. You can do it with this trailer. It's not that heavy. And you can put 100 pounds of stuff on top of it. Another cool thing is you have a portable dog house that you can bring anywhere you want. And uh, the uses are endless. Whether you're traveling, whether you're going somewhere and you need a spot for your pet, um, your dog likes to sleep in it and relax and have its privacy, there's endless opportunities with the dog shed. So I like that. More options. This is a great portable solution. Come on, buddy, we go for a ride. Going to the park. Let's go. Good boy. Go to the park. Yeah. So the uh, trailer feels really good. Even on turns, it's been holding up really well. I feel it on if I hit a bump, kind of bounces around, jerks it back a little bit, but that's to be expected. We got a lot of weight on this thing. I feel like it's holding up great. I'll show you how close we can cut this turn. So I can just about come to a stop here, stay on the trail, just about, turn the bike. That's simple. So at the end of the day, I like options. And the reason this trailer works best for me is because it gives you options. 
Not only do you have a utility trailer, but you also have a dog shed that you can take with you anywhere you go. So if you're interested in the dog shed and trailer, there'll be links in the description for you to purchase your own. Like always, thanks for watching, ride safe, have fun, see ya.